What's going on guys? All right, tonight we're working on the Fox as usual. Sorry for the noise, I got a fan here. Uh, still, you know, 95, 96 degrees outside, being eight o'clock at night. But anyways, on the last video we saw, we got the, uh, the rollover bar uh, put in drove around the block a little bit I already can tell a difference in it um, but today or tonight I am working on getting a two-step uh, wired up or launch control whatever you want to call it and I had to ask my boy Frank because uh, I was kind of curious I was going through the diagram and uh, I was pretty sure to use pin number six but I actually looked on the diagram from uh, the micro squirt site and showing flex fuel but I actually talked to him uh, he said I can use that port so that's what we're gonna be using is the flex port is on number six pin it'd be this brownish wire here this one right here so I already got put in uh, you have to take this apart uh, which I already did already um, I pulled this top part off, kind of slide it up a little bit, trying to be careful not to pull any wires out. And I pulled this red part off. Um, I had to pull the wire rest of the way through. So you actually take this off. Well, I take. I guess you really don't have to take this off at all. Uh, I did it anyways. But you just shove that wire in, push it in as far as you can. Uh, mine didn't bottom out. You probably can't see it, but it's supposed to bottom out on the back side of this uh, red plastic piece here but this plastic piece comes out I was able to get my needle nose and pull the rest of the way out uh, then put this back on and then everything's nice and flush you probably can't see it but also you'll also when you start messing with the stuff you want to kill power to the car which I already, I've already done so don't forget that step you always want to kill power but you don't want to accidentally hit uh, well, like I said, I was using some needle nose here and hit two wires each other and burn something up. But uh, got the wire in. It's going to be using a single wire. And I'll also show you how to uh, set up in Tuner Studio to tell which, uh, on the launch control setting, uh, tell which which port we're using. So. Keep in mind we're using uh, we're using a pin number six to be a flex port. So now it's pretty much all done. Get some tape. I wrap this up a little bit better. And this is what I'm gonna be using for launch control. Uh, I know this. I know y'all probably don't agree with it, but I'm actually gonna try it out instead of using the the pedal method. Uh, pretty much is a pistol grip handle with a button on it. So, pretty much when I get up to the line, get ready for staging, press the button, throw my foot into it, and it activates, uh, well, when you press the button, it activates two-step. So, we're going to try this out, see how I like it. If I don't like it, then we'll wire it up to the, uh, the clutch pedal. But, uh, that's pretty much it on the wiring part. Like I said, I'm just going to get all this wrapped up, and, uh, back together then we'll get our wires ran and uh, it's pretty much pretty simple to wire up from there so well all right progress report pretty much installed uh, ran the wires through the boot um, was it intentional but uh but so yeah so ran the wires to the boot your red and black and underneath here I already got them spliced together uh, so my black wire is running there and it's already connected to the wire on for the ECU and the red wire which I have it going to a yellow wire 
is up in there somewhere for a ground. So pretty much we're doing is uh, just giving the ECU a uh, ground source. So everything's wired up, ready to roll. Just put everything back together. Uh, we'll try it out tomorrow. It's too late to try it tonight. Tonight. Uh, really don't want the cops caught on me for I think I'm shooting a gun or whatnot. So just gonna put everything back together, and we'll try it out in the morning or, or afternoon time. setup uh, launch control you need to open up tinder studio and you don't have to have it connected to the car um, but anyways to set it up you want to go to boost advance and go to launch control all right so you'll get this little uh, box to pop up uh, you can tell it what you want it to do. You can do just strictly, you can do off, you can do launch, or launch and flat shift. In this case, for right now, we're going to select launch. And you get a bunch of these settings here. So, if you uh, remember before, we're finding a spot for our uh, wire to put in the harness. We use the flex spot, so that's number six pin, and it's already selected for me. So number six pin is your flex spot. You can use it for you know the boost control, or the uh, the two step, or flex fuel sensor. Uh, the next, you got your hard, your launch hard uh, limit, uh, kind of where we want your RPMs to be at. We run the two step. Uh, your soft limit 200 or 200 rpm and how aggressive you want it on your soft limit retard so i, I if you notice on the video i actually did uh, three different um options or i did three uh i tried it three times with different timings uh the first time i did 10 degrees the next I did five degrees and the last one I did uh, took out I did a negative 10 degrees of timing and to enable it I got it on zero to, or on zero throttle position sensor so it's automatically aid activating anything above that uh, limit method we're just gonna do spark cut you can do fuel or spark and fuel but in our case, we're going to do spark put or spark cut since we're trying to uh, spool the turbo up. So once you get this set up, you can play around with it, see what RPMs you want. You can do, you know, 2500, 3500, four grand. You know, you can throw it up to five grand, six grand, if you want to. But for right now, we're going to leave it at 3500 RPMs, and uh, may play with this a little bit. And once you're done, you just hit burn. And close it out. Make sure you, if you don't have it, to connect to the micro squirt or mega squirt, whatever. Um, connect it. Make sure you save the settings to the ECU before you try to do it, because it's not going to do it unless you save the settings to it. But other than that, guys, that's that's pretty much it on the video, or on the two step. It's really simple to do. Um, um, there's, like I said, there's other ways of doing it. The sensor in the clutch. Uh, people do it that way, but I'm going to try the, the push button on the uh, the shifter for right now. 
See how it does. If I don't like it, I can always warp to the clutch. The clutch pedal, I mean. Anyways, guys, so got the new roll bar here dangling off the ceiling slash garage door. Just got done painting it. Uh, didn't think it felt necessary to uh, film me painting a roll bar. So, but we, I will be filming the whole install uh, here in a couple weeks, and uh, should be awesome. Just kind of a little sneak peek here. But if you're not on my Facebook page, you're you're like three weeks behind. So, I'll leave the link down below. Join the Facebook group page. I post a lot of stuff before they even make it to the videos. Uh, even sometimes on Instagram, but I post a little bit. I post more on Facebook. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and until next time, I'll see y'all later.